Do you know what the best thing in the world is? It's a wheel. No! no. Chocolate, of course. Oh, right, right, right. But we can all agree that Ecuadorian chocolate is the best. Stop it. <laughs> you can't beat Swiss chocolate. Never, ever. Oh, really? In this video, we will be seeing if Ecuadorian chocolate is the best or just not mm. worth it at all. And what better way to do that than to do a blindfolded taste test of some of the best chocolate, not only from Ecuador, but from around the world. So first, in the sake of fairness, we decided to implement a few rules. Number one, we tasted the chocolates blindfolded, meaning we had no idea what chocolate we were eating. Number two, we each had at least one chocolate that we had not ever tried before. Number three, each chocolate had its own tasting section in the video, but the actual order we tried them in was different for each of us. This made it impossible for us to guess or have preference based on order. Number four, we avoided using chocolate with bigger or more puffed up shapes so that we couldn't guess it based on its shape. Number five, we are only allowed to use each number score once, which means if we gave one chocolate a score of 10, then another chocolate could not also receive a score of 10. Number six, after trying each chocolate, we drank some water with salt in order to neutralize the flavor of the previous chocolate and thus have fairer scores. Before we begin, Let's see what each judge thinks will be the chocolate that's most likely to win and which will be the least likely to win. I think the best one will of course be the Swiss chocolate. I love Swiss chocolate. It's in my heart. I grew up with it, so it's gotta be the best one. The last, mm, I don't know. I think it's the Galag. Because Galag is just not it. White chocolates, no. It gets a no from me. I'm pretty sure that my favorite chocolate is gonna be the Swiss chocolate. I don't know, it's my favorite chocolate. I know how it tastes and I really, really love it. And I know, no, I don't know yet, but I think the last rank, it's gonna be Galak because I don't like white chocolate and it's really sweet. So yeah, but we're gonna see now. Woo! So if I had to guess which chocolate is the best, I'd have to say it's the Hershey's chocolate. Alternatively, if we were talking about an Ecuadorian chocolate, I'd have to go with the Pacari coffee chocolate just because I love the coffee taste that is added to certain foods. Well, not love, I really like it. If I had to guess which one was the worst, at least the one that I think I'm gonna like the least, it would have to be the Manicho chocolate just because the peanut butter in it, probably not gonna be my favorite. It's not that I hate peanut butter. In certain foods, it's good, but not my favorite. <laughs> is it coming? Uh, what do we got? Hmm. Mm. Which one is it? Oh. This one's kind of thick, like Antonio's ex. I'm never gonna forget <laughs> that. What? It's thick, like my ex. <laughs> <laughs> I still laugh every time I think about that. It's not dark chocolate. That wasn't bad. Is it dark chocolate? Wasn't great either. I think it's the Hershey's. I think that's the normal. Perfect. It might be the Tasa 70% one. How many points? 13. Oh, it was the Hershey, Hershey Dark Chocolate. Hershey it was chocolate. really good. Yeah. Okay, the Hershey the Dark one. And you thought it was the normal one. But... I gave it an 11. I know, it's good, right? It's yeah. my favorite. It's really good. The Hershey's Dark Chocolate. Hershey's Dark, I gave that an 11. No, I don't like that one. It's the Swiss one. <laughs> nah, that's good. Too sweet. I do not like those though. It's the round one, the little one. I know my chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Either the written or the Linde. I feel like it's one of those. You it's okay, first. Good, I liked it. Swiss chocolate, number one. I gave it three points. You gave it three points. You said it's too sweet. It was our beloved Swiss chocolate. But I love this chocolate. 
And you gave it a three. But it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> <You said. laughs> then it was the Swiss chocolate. 14. Obvio, I knew it. <laughs> it was really good. Um, I gave it 13 though. You know why it was really good? Why? Because it was, it was Swiss. Swiss. <laughs> I knew it. Even though I've never tried it, but I think that's the Mr. Beast one. That's the Mr. Beast. I feel like that was the Pocari dark chocolate. The not dark, the organic one. Because I could feel the shape of it, and the Mr. Beast one is like really small. Yeah, it's okay. If it's not the organic one, it's the coffee one. It has to be one of those two. Yeah, I like it. Tastes good. Twelve. It was the Mr. Beast chocolate. Yeah, it was really good. The Mr. Beast chocolate. Came the Mr. Beast one. I knew this too. Yeah. <laughs> I gave it a 9. Nice. It's still in my top 5. The next one was Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, I gave that a yeah. 12. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, oh. Mmm. Pakari. Is this a patient fruit? What was that? <laughs> You're like so confident. It smells fruity. What is the manichu? I know how Pakari tastes. It tastes fruity. But that didn't taste like peanut butter. I tasted almost like dark at the end of like a normal chocolate bar. Didn't like it as much. I gave it 14 points, the best one. Wow, that's a lot. It was the Pagari Patient Fruit. I gave this a 14 note, that's kind of be true. <laughs> the one after that was Pagari Passion Fruit. Eight. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was good. Fruity. The Pagari Passion Fruit. Oh, really? Yeah. That one, I got a six. It wasn't good, so I gave it a six. I say that while we're doing this, like in the process, you should tell a story, Jojo. Okay. Once there was a little girl named Jojo, and she slept. And ah, ah. <laughs> I think that's a round one. Which one is this? I don't know. You tell us. That had to be the 90% tassa chocolate. You mean the tassa? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think it's a tassa. But the really, really dark one. It's devoid of any sugar. Oh. Is it bad? <laughs> yes. Most dark chocolate have less sugar. Where's all the good chocolate? One. What? Holy damn. It was a Tassa 95. The Tassa, I know, but I but it was I the, said it was Tassa. That one. I said it was Tassa because it had like pieces in it. It was so mm -hmm. ugly. Then the Tassa, but the... 59% like the dark one. I knew it too. The 95% one. I knew it too. Yeah. I gave it a 2. I don't like really dark chocolate. It was oh, that was a super mega dark chocolate, right? Yeah. It was Tasa. 90%. 90%. Yeah, you knew it. You yeah, really guess. I gave that a 1. She slept. And while she was sleeping, she really had to go pee. But she didn't wake up. She somehow wake up, woke up, but not completely. So she stood up and went to go to the bathroom, but she was still sleeping. Uh, that's the other Tasa one. Oh, okay. It's the, the coffee one, the Pakari. This one was the organic one, 60%. Why do you think it was the Pakari one? Because we have only one with coffee and it was Pakari. <laughs> it's not great. What I don't like especially is that inside the chocolate itself, you taste these kind of things. It's like there's uh, shreds of something inside of it. I don't like coffee. I gave it two points. Oh God. It was the... Uh, Pakari coffee! Hey, you gave me the Pakari coffee? Yes! Yeah. Ah! Next one was the Pakari chocolate, you had it right. For with, with, with patient food? It was the coffee one. Ah, the coffee one? Coffee yeah. onion. Mm -hmm. The Pakari coffee one. That one I gave an 8. Yeah. Then the little girl named Jojo had to go pee so hard, but she walked a little bit farther than she should have gone. And then she suddenly sat, not on the toilet, but on the piano table piano chair and she peed on the piano chair. That's what the story you don't, you don't think it's funny? <laughs> you know, ah oh <laughs> Ritter's Sport Ritter's Sport Is this Ritter's Sport? Is this the the written? I don't remember what the name is, Ritter's so yeah. Ritter's Sport. A really strong milk taste. I have eaten this chocolate so often in my life. Wow. It's so good. I thought the same about you. <laughs> uh, Actually, we can put this online and my friends in Switzerland see if they're gonna tell me. It's not bad, but the, the, the aftertaste of milk is too strong. I give it six points. It's the Rita Sport!
milk chocolate. The next one was British Bar. 12, I knew it! I knew it. It's the British Bar. I gave that a five. Yeah. Was that the one that had like an explosion of milk afterwards? Yeah. yeah. Yay. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Let's show Ketten. And I still don't like it. I think it's the, the German chocolate. I don't remember the name. Schogetten. Well, it's okay. It's okay. It's not great. I give it seven points. Schogetten. You prefer the Schogetten than the yes. other? <laughs> you said it's so good, it's too Third one was the Schoketten. I knew it. Yeah, you guessed that one right. Um, Seven. And then comes Schoketten. Schoketten. I gave this. that a nine. Yeah, you knew this. It was good. No, eight. I really think I have to throw up after this. <laughs> Just because of the water. I'm waiting for the lint. Maybe it's coming now. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Man, that water really does nullify the taste of chocolate. Mm, that's not lint. Okay, I think that's a small round one. That's probably a small circle chocolate. And it's okay. Yeah, I like it. There was a moment where it was it was decent, but then it kind of tasted like cardboard. I really do like it, but it's not the best. It wasn't bad, it's just that slight, slight taste. We all know which one is the best, obvio. Number nine, I gave it five points. It was the Rochetta Leche. Little thing. It wasn't that bad. But five points is it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. I knew it too, no? Yeah, you knew everything. Really? Not what? everything. Not everything. Well, the circle chocolate I gave is ten. Wow. It was good. A little circle one. I gave that a four. Really? Yeah. I think that was the one that had like a wrapper feel. Like not wrapper, it was yeah. like cardboard in it. I don't know why. Yeah. Ace, can I please just drink normal water? I'm gonna throw up, please. No, we have to be fair. You can like insert a coin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the peanut one. Ah, peanut butter. Is that the Mr. Beast chocolate? Nah. <laughs> it's another flavor I've never had before. So I feel like it should be the Mr. Beast chocolate. And it was good, it was, wow. Uh-uh, eight points. It was Manitro. Yeah, it was good. I like Manitra. I think out of all the chocolates that we have here, that's probably going to be the one I'm going to like the least. The sixth one was the Manucho. Yeah. Uh, I knew it too. Yeah. How much did you yeah, give it? Five. Five. It's not my favorite. It's the my third mouth. one is really interesting. Yeah. Which one do you think it was? I don't know, but I gave it a 14. You said, you said it's Mr. Beast. Do ah. you know which it was? It was a Manitra. <laughs> yeah, it was wow. a Manitra. Your new favorite chocolate. It was chocolate. really good. I thought peanut butter was going to be really my lowest and it was really good. Important. See, this is why blind tests are important. <laughs> good, start drinking the water. I uh, hate you, Ace. I hate you. Is it the Hershey's? Yeah, it's Pacari. Hey. I bet you that's the Pacari fruit one. I don't like any chocolate that's mixed with fruit, to be honest. It's a dark chocolate. The normal one. I know it. E. It's either the fruit one or the, the organic. I think it's the normal Hershey's one. Yep. It's really good. Number 11. I give it 9 points. It was Pacari 60% cacao. Yeah, I like Pacari. The Pacari was the normal one. 13. It was good. The Pacari organic. And you thought it's coffee. Oh, really? Yeah, or fruity. That one yes, I gave it... I thought it was fruity. I gave it a three. <laughs> That's the Hershey's, but the milk one. I don't like this one. I say it's like classic Hershey's. It's so ugly. Disgusting. It's not bad. It's okay. I give it 10 points. Oh, it was the Hershey. The Hershey. The normal one. How much did you give it? The normal one? Yeah. It was so disgusting. No. <laughs> I gave it a three. <laughs> then comes the Hershey. The, the Hershey. One. That one was a ten. You knew it? <laughs> it's not me being dramatic, it's the water being ugly. 
Which one is it? I have no idea. Dark chocolate. I like my soul. That's gotta be the Tasa 70% because it's better than the 90% one. It tasted better. Which one is this? I don't know. Is it the Bacari one? I'm trying to realize there's a certain point where dark chocolate just is not my favorite. Nah, not my favorite. 11 points. 11 points for the Tasa 70%. Yes, the round one. Wow, how does it look? It was good actually. Then came the Tassa 70%. I gave it a 6. <laughs> then comes the Tassa 70%. That one I, I would have ranked it lower. It was a 7, but um, I think it might have been lower. Oh yeah, this is what you said, dark chocolate. Mm. Yeah, dark chocolate is kind of uh, wonky when it becomes a little too high in darkness. I know everyone has their preferences, but to me, too dark. Look where my voice is, over here. Bear. Uh, more to your left. <laughs> Too much to your left. Oh. Ah. Uh. Galag. <laughs> What's this? Manicho. Galag. It's galag. I feel like that's probably because it has a peanut butter like taste. Ooh, I can't eat it. If it's not that, it's the. If it's not that, it's the galag. It's gotta be one of those two. Uh uh. <laughs> okay, so basically it's crunchy and it's got an aftertaste that's kind of like. Really strong like milk, kind of like vanilla. It's probably the garlic. If it's not, it's the manicho. And the last one, I gave it four points. It was garlic. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote it, lint under garlic. <laughs> the next one was garlic. You knew it. <laughs> yeah, it was so disgusting. No, wow. but at first you were kind of about to like say it was good, then after you're like, oh no. Yeah. Or you kind of like uh, doubted at the beginning. Uh, uh, one. Came to the garlic, which you thought it was the money. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. I gave it a two. It said it had this like kind of crunch in it, so I thought that was maybe the peanut butter in it, yeah. or like peanuts or something. So now we're gonna give you the rankings of the top three chocolates, and we're also gonna tell you the three that were a total flop. On the podium in third place is Swiss chocolate. Yay! Oh, yeah. Now. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> now in second place, super close to first place with 34 points, we have Mr. Beast Chocolate. Woo! We love you, Mr. Beast. We love you, Mr. Beast. And now comes the big final. The best chocolate is... Hershey Star Chocolate. Hey! <laughs> and it was really, really close. Mr. Beast with 34 and Hershey Star Chocolate with 36. I think we all had different expectations for what the yeah. top three were going to be like, <laughs> but okay. It's a fair top three. Yeah. I think it's especially fair because we didn't see it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Now coming to the lowest rated chocolates. So in 12th place with 14 points is the Pakari Coffee Chocolate Bar. And uh, I actually thought, if you guys remember, that it was going to be much higher, but... Uh, yeah. I didn't like it. It was weird. But we love Pakari. Pakari is good. Yeah, me neither. Second to last place is... It's no clapping. No, <laughs> no there's no, no clapping. clapping. Second to last place is with only 8 points, Galak. I don't understand how people like Galak. It's a weirdly popular chocolate that's not even really Ecuadorian. But Ecuadorians love it's the heck even, out of it. It's not even chocolate. White chocolate, like, it doesn't even have really cacao in it. It's only the cacao butter. So, no. Yeah, I didn't Weird, like it. chemical, nah. Now coming to the lowest place. Kind of surprising. I didn't really think of this chocolate as being the lowest one. I thought Golak is going to be the lowest one. But with, with four points on the lowest place, we have the Tassa 95%. Yeah, it didn't have it any flavor. Just, it was just too strong. Mm -hmm. I think mainly the fact that it was really, really dark chocolate and really dark chocolate has a lot less sugar. So with the sweet tooth that we have, that just kind of like... No, it didn't have, it killed every flavor. Like too bitter, too... Uh, no. Literally, I tasted the first chocolate, which was the, the Swiss chocolate, Le Lint. And when I, when I tasted the, the Tassa one, 
like if there were any residue of sweetness left in my mouth, it was gone. <laughs> it, it killed everything. It, it, it tasted nothing. It was like a desert, like a wasteland. And I'm sorry, Mark Horning, you, you gave us this chocolate. I had high expectations for it, but... No, it wasn't it. Also, this is the total rankings for all the chocolates so that you know which one came in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth. Okay. <laughs> that was a wrap. <laughs> Honestly, there's some things that we learned from this video. If you look at the top three, none of the Ecuadorian chocolates made it into the top three. Sorry, I love Ecuador as country, but chocolate... Okay, basically all the chocolate is from Ecuador. In theory, yes. That's another thing that you can actually take away from this video. The fact that if you think about the material that chocolate is made out of, most of it does come from Ecuador. So I'm thankful for Ecuador. Yeah. I'm thankful for the cacao that Ecuador exports yeah. to make good chocolate that made it into the top three. I'm thankful for Switzerland for making good chocolate out of the cacao. <laughs> True, even though... Even though... <laughs> you're not I'm sorry. I can't go home to Switzerland. She's going to be kicked out of her country, so if you guys want to adopt yeah. a sweet little Swiss girl, now's your chance. It also taught us the fact that you sometimes have this preconception that there's this chocolate that you love. Maybe you've eaten it all your life, maybe you've always seen it, and you think it's great because you haven't tried other chocolates. I had never tried Manicho chocolate before because I am not a fan of peanut butter. I tried Manicho chocolate and now it's, it came out in the top in my, in my ranking. Imagine, even though none of the Ecuadorian chocolates made it into the top three, you still should try Pacari chocolate because we actually only tried three Pacari chocolate flavors. And there are so many. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely give them a shot because you might just find one that's right for you. And also Manicho. Anything else you guys want to say? No. no? Also try Swiss chocolate. Yeah, Swiss chocolate is the best. Swiss we chocolate love was Swiss really chocolate. good, even though it didn't come we to the place. Swiss chocolate. <laughs> But even though Ecuadorian chocolate did not stand out in this video, there's a video where, even if it's not chocolate, we actually do talk about Ecuadorian food. Manabi's food, to be specific. And that video is right here. So make sure to check it out next. Okay. Good. And we officially now have the queen of chocolate, so... You literally knew everything.